Handling translation projects with Team Server 2. First, we need to define the working environment, the people involved in the translation project, and the different environments in which work can be carried out. The administrator or project manager will be represented by this icon throughout the demonstration. Translators proofreaders and reviewers will be represented by this icon. Finally, the happy end client is represented by this icon. All these players are working on the same translation project but at different levels and in different environments. This icon appears when the work is taking place in Deja Vu X2 and this icon appears when the work is taking place in Team Server 2. Let's now have a look at the whole translation process with Team Server 2. There are five main phases. The first phase involves forming all the teams, an administrator task. In the second phase, the administrator and project manager create the project and dispatch the work among various translators. In the third phase, the translators, proofreaders and reviewers work simultaneously under the supervision of the project manager and the end client when necessary. The fourth phase involves quality assurance and database administration. The following tasks are performed. Merging translations, merging and maintaining translation memories and term bases. The fifth phase consists in delivering the completed project to the end client. Let's have a look at step one. The administrator works in the administrator control panel of Team Server 2. This is the administrator control panel of Team Server 2. Different actions are conducted from here. Managing the user roles, users, term bases, translation memories, and also viewing floating license statuses in real time and tracking the progress of all current projects. Let's have a look at the user role management panel. All the different user roles created by the administrator are listed here. The administrator can create as many roles as he wants. The roles are defined by a global permission level. The lower the permission, the more rights the user has. For example, freelance translators can send new entries in the Team Server database but cannot edit any entries from a user with a lower permission level. They cannot edit entries from internal reviewers. However, internal reviewers can edit entries from in-house or freelance translators. In short, the global permission level is the core of the database organization. It defines the hierarchy among all the users. User roles can be modified by clicking on the Edit icon. The user role ID and permission level can be changed at any time. The administrator can also manage other criteria. From this panel, he can define a different permission level for each language and grant access to specific clients, projects or subjects in order to ensure confidentiality. Now let's have a look at the user panel in Team Server 2. Here we find a list of all the various contributors to the project and the roles they have been assigned. To create a new user, just click on the Add New User button. From here, the administrator can fill in the various fields, assign a user role, Assign a work group or a professional floating license to any translators who do not have their own. Choose the expiry date for this license 
and define the password. The user we just created now appears on the list. Let's move on to step two. The project manager is now about to create the translation project and dispatch the work in Deja Vu X2. Here is the translation project. The project manager can upload it on the team server tracking project system in order to track its progress in real time. The project manager can also connect to the team server translation memory and term base. He is now able to pre-translate the project in just one click. The project manager is now able to get an overview of his ongoing projects from the Project Details Report panel on Team Server 2. Here he can view the overall progress of the project. Project details per language and per file are listed below. The project manager is now ready to dispatch the work among different translators. To do so, he creates a satellite project for each target language. During step 3, the translators work using Deja Vu X2. First of all, the translator requests a floating license on Team Server 2 by clicking on the Help menu, then Request Floating License. The Deja Vu license is now activated. As we can see, his name appears on the Floating License Administrator panel in Team Server 2. The translator opens the satellite project he's been provided with. The files have already been pre-translated. The translator is able to send new terms to the Team Server 2 term base. At any time during the translation process, the project manager can obtain detailed progress information from the Project Details Report panel on Team Server 2. For each project, statistics are updated in real time. Project details are available per language and per file with a mere click. It is now time to move on to step 4. Here, all the different players involved in the translation process are able to check the terminology in the Team Server web-based lookup feature. Searches can be processed by source and target languages. For a more accurate search, different filters can easily be used. The results from the term base appear. This tab contains the source term, its translation, the project name, the name of the translator, and other attributes. The concordance window displays all the segments in which the term features. From this panel, it is possible to check whether the term has always been translated correctly in order to ensure terminology consistency. For each segment, a context window is available. Let's move on to step 5. Here, the project manager performs quality assurance checks and maintains databases from the Deja Vu and Team Server interfaces. First, the project manager imports the translated satellite project. He can proofread the translation and perform a quality assurance check. 
He then sends the whole project to the Team Server 2 translation memory to overwrite all the segments with those that have been finished and approved. Now that the project has been carried out successfully, the project manager is ready to deliver a consistent translation to the end client on time. Find more e-learning modules on www.atril.com